With us now is Kirsty Spragan, and she and I met in Miami of last year. Welcome, how are you? Fantastic, how are you? Fabulous, now you flew all the way in from California to be on the show. I did. I was supposed to pick you up from the airport last night and I ran out of gas. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's just typical of things that have happened in my life, you know? Yeah. Um, but we, we're here, so here yes. we are today. What did you think about the day that you spent here on set with us? Oh, I had so much fun, you know? It was, I was living it up. Yeah. Really, really was. <laughs> Everyone was just so friendly and fantastic and fun and energized. It's been a really great day. And when we met in Miami at the television convention, you told me that you have your own show. I was telling you that I have my own show. Yeah. We decided there, there might be a synergy between the stories we tell. Tell us about Kirsty TV and the stories that you tell and how it impacts the lives of others. Yeah, so for me, I guess I have a philosophy and I believe that when we share our stories, we heal not only ourselves but others. And there's a big part of the show that we tell people stories and they've overcome huge adversity and challenge in their life. But at the end of the day, I like to leave with hope and inspiration. So what have they learned from that? Who are they today? How did they move forward and on with their life so that they can inspire others? And you have a little bit of a cute accent. Where's that from? <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Australia. And Mate. I Yes, I uh, yeah, my, my shrimp on the body, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Maybe we'll do that for dinner tonight. Uh, now, tell us about your experience and how did you decide to move from Australia to the United States? Well, I was working as a motivational speaker and author, and it had been my dream to launch a television show. And I just felt very strongly um, that you know America was where I needed to be to do it. I mean, in Australia, a best-selling show that everyone would be watching would probably get about two hundred fifty thousand viewers. Um, so not a lot. <laughs> so you don't even hit the crack the million mark. It's the sheep herders. Um, they don't have TV, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, a lot of our celebrities, if I name them, you wouldn't have a clue who they are. So if you want to have a global impact, you really need to be in America. And of course, Hollywood is, is where it's at. Absolutely. Well, in New York, so now we're that's kind of right. by coastal. Um, that's right. Yeah, you can say, fly back and forward. That's fighting words right there. Um, <laughs> but California does have better weather. <laughs> well, especially if when you come, come from Australia. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, we, I still travel home every three months for a lot of speaking work. So I didn't want to have to have that extra six hour flight to New York, though I do love New York. Now, you made your claim to fame in the real estate industry, as yes. well as having your own book. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that in the transition where success can also breed success at this. Yeah, look, I think that, uh, and as you say, I, I was in real estate. I was with Remax, who's um, the largest selling real estate brand in the world. Um, I was in the top 1% uh, of 120,000 agents worldwide at the time. And, um, and that kind of led to, can you train some of the up and comers, the people who are starting out in the industry? And then I wrote a book and it just sort of took on a life of its own. Um, but I definitely think, you know, I couldn't have done what I did when I started uh, speaking full time. It was the beginning of the global financial crisis some six years ago or so. And when that happened, I realized that if I hadn't have had my real estate skills and my, I call it, um, my book's called Work As If You Own It, because I think that when you're in sales, you're on commission. You don't get paid unless you sell. So you've really got to work as if it's your own business and be an entrepreneur. So those skills, without them, I wouldn't have been able to be successful in a global financial crisis, starting up a whole new business. And I wouldn't have been able to be successful as an interviewer and uh, as a producer. Um, and in terms of selling and marketing the show and getting distribution, all those skills from each area have certainly transitioned into what I do today. I think you've done a fabulous job so far Thank with what you. you've done. And you also do red carpet events, just like I do here in New York, but you've gotten an opportunity to you know, stand outside the red carpet and especially uh, with the women's conference that you got yeah. to yeah. Uh, do. Let's talk about that. So um, the California Women's Conference is one of the largest conferences for empowering women in uh, the Los Angeles area. I think, um, I'm trying to think where they have it each, each year. I'm think, I want to say Long Beach, um, but it's a fantastic conference. This year they had Marsha Cross as one of the keynote speakers from the Desperate Housewives. They had Oprah's BFF uh, boyfriend there, Stedman Graham. Um, and uh, they had a whole heap of different what about the celebrities author, that guy, and speakers. John, uh, Dr. For, John Gray. Yeah. yeah, so he wrote Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. I think he's done uh, 50 million copies in 50 different countries, 50 languages worldwide. So we sat down for about half an hour um, and it was phenomenal because I've never done red carpet. I've come from little old Australia um, on the West Coast. Perth is the most isolated city in the world. I didn't know. I yeah. didn't know that. Good yeah. to know. And I'm in Hollywood <laughs> doing red carpet interviews. So um, that was a, a, certainly a highlight of the journey and a very exciting moment. So I'm looking forward to sharing them with you and your viewers as well. Absolutely. And we're happy to have you as one of our new correspondents. So, uh, you know, you'll be welcoming a lot of great stories from Kirsty TV on it up tv show.com and we 
thank you for watching. We're going to tell you how you can reach out and watch her longer content because when we have uh, your little snippet, we're not going to have the whole half hour interview. But uh, looking forward to sharing content with you and really creating a big difference and a massive impact on empowering the world as we know it. It's going to be big, big things for us. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for everything that you are. And uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more from us on Live It Up.